Southern Baptist leaders say that they will release a secret list of hundreds of pastors and staff members accused of sexual abuse. The announcement comes after a scathing 288-page report detailed how the committee mishandled sex abuse allegations and stonewalled numerous survivors. One of those survivors is a woman from Jacksonville. News 4 Jacks reporter Bree Isom joins us live tonight. And Bree, you've been digging through this report. Yes, and it was honestly a tough report to read. You know, the woman says in the report that she was traumatized after this happened and she tried to tell executives, but they wouldn't listen to her. The report states 44 women had reported to being victims of Daryl Gillier, who was a pastor at First Baptist Church of Jacksonville. It lists one of the survivors of abuse by Gilliard being a woman from Jacksonville, Tiffany Thigpen, who had looked up to Gilliard as a pastor and friend. The report states that in the spring of 1991, after a meeting at the church, Gilliard attacked Thigpen and attempted to rape her, but she fought back and escaped. According to the report, Gilliard had been grooming Thigpen with late night phone calls and promises of a summer job in Texas. According to the report, she was terrified and traumatized, so her and her mother went to an executive at the church to talk about the attack. The executive, named as Dr. Jerry Vines in the report, was dismissive of her claims and told her that it would be embarrassing if others knew about it. In the report, some executives with the Southern Baptist Convention called Daryl Gilliard a woman squeezer. It goes on to say people would call and report abuse to executives and that they would tell the people who called not to talk about it or wouldn't return their calls. Gillier later went on to work at churches in Oklahoma and Texas where allegations resurfaced. The report says Thickpen wrote a letter to the bylaws work group in 2019 stating how Gilliard was allowed to move from church to church with prominent SBC figures vouching for him. No one on the bylaws work group responded to the letter. Thigpen also made a submission to the credentials committee as well. She says the process has taken an emotional toll, writing, quote, imagine telling for decades to a non-receptive audience, to an audience who abuses you with their shame and their hateful words against you. Pretty powerful words in that report. Now, we did get a statement from the First Baptist Church of Jacksonville from Dr. Heath Lambert, who's the senior pastor there. He says, I am horrified and saddened by the abuse and cover-up of abuse that was chronicled in the SBC sex abuse report. That is particularly true of the abuse of a precious former member of First Baptist Church 30 years ago. It is sinful and wrong to abuse any human being, to counsel abuse victims to remain silent, and to protect abusers from exposure. The leadership of our church today demands strict screening of all staff and volunteers, strictly enforces policies protecting innocent people, and requires all accusations of of abuse to be reported to the authorities. I call on any person involved in abuse or concealing abuse to confess this sin and seek reconciliation with those they have wronged. I'm reporting live in downtown Jacksonville tonight. Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.